IB Times UK spoke with human rights activist Ebenezer Akwanga on the struggle for independence in southern Cameroons. Akwanga, who is the president of the Southern Cameroons Youth League, alleged that human rights abuses against pro-independence activists in southern Cameroons are common. He also believes his people might ally with pro-Biafrans in southeastern Nigeria who are also fighting to gain independence. They are now carrying out a wiping out of our people in womb. Men have been arrested. The treatment they are receiving is not the same treatment that they even give to the Boko Haram terrorists that are arrested. They are molesting our women. They are killing people in womb. They are destroying houses. That is what the Cameroon government under Paul Bia is doing at this particular moment in womb. Now, when you do that to a people, instead of calming down the situation, understanding the frustration and legitimate anger of the people, what do you expect from the people? They are going to get a blowback. That is the type of situation we are receiving there. Similar to what the Buhari regime is doing in eastern, in eastern Nigeria. The people of Biafra and the people of the southern Cameroons have something very unique in history. That they share a geographical boundary. They don't only share a geographical boundary. They speak the same language which the British brought to us. Whatever happens in the southern Cameroons, we have repercussions in Nigeria, specifically in Biafra land. Whatever happens in Biafra land, we have an effect in the southern Cameroons. So there is no doubt if anyone out there suggests that there is the possibility that the people of Biafra and the southern Cameroons are coming together to fight for a common cause, that of external self-determination. There is one thing that unites us together, brotherhood. We are one. That's the truth. We are one, fighting for the same cause. What we need is freedom. The Biafrans want freedom. Technically, they don't want to destroy that constitutional framework that built up the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Biafras are really not interested in that. They are merely saying that, just give us our freedom. Why the British hurriedly stitch up something they call Nigeria without looking at the future? And it is having a blowback. It's the same thing they did for the Southern Cameroons. So if the people of the Southern Cameroons and the people of Biafra have a common platform and are willing to come together to fight for the same goal, so be it.